Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Robert Frick. I'm the associate pastor at Sonoma Springs Covenant Church. And I just want to take some time to share a quick devotional with you about something that we kind of neglect um, personally and in the church, and that is the attitude of self-care. So I'm going to be bringing a few examples um, biblically and an encouragement of how we can take care of ourselves um, as we minister the gospel and minister during these hard times. But before we get uh, started, let's pray. Uh, Father, we just thank you for this time that we just get together. And whether we're watching in this city or watching far away, whether it's nighttime, daytime, five days from now, a year from now, Lord, I pray that the words of your scripture would just ring true. And I pray that the Holy Spirit would cause us to meditate and to take something away today. In your name we pray, the holy name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So the first thing I want to encourage you um, in the Bible is that you should rest during your storms. And the thing with self-care is that so often we're running and running, and if we're going through these tragedies, we're going through these horrible experiences in our lives, we're going through tough times, that we always forget to rest. And then we look at our lives and we're tired, we're burnt out, we're downtrodden, and we say, why? I've been working so hard. But I want to encourage you that it's okay to rest during those storms in your life. If we look at the Gospels, and then specifically look at Luke chapter 8, verses 22 through 25, when Jesus calmed the storm, the disciples were out on the ship, and things were going horribly wrong. A big storm came out and was throwing them to and fro. But where was Jesus? He was in the midst of the storm as well, but what was he doing? He was sleeping. And once the disciples came out and said, Jesus, are you just going to let us die? He gets out and goes and calms the storm. And he says, you have little faith. Because Jesus knew that it was okay for him to rest because he had faith that nothing would harm them. And in our storms, so often, we're trying to fix everything and do everything. But we need to have that same faith in knowing that Jesus is with us. And that he will not allow us to be harmed. And that he is always faithful, even when we're not. The next thing I want to encourage you with is that you need to celebrate your growth, even if it's small. If we look at the very first chapter of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, when God was creating the world, the universe, he always stopped and said he saw that it was good. That he didn't create something and go next one, next one, next one, next one. No, he took a perspective of it and said, this is good. He saw that it was good. And more so, on the seventh day, he rested after a job well done. And in our lives so often, we have these goals. And some of them are very far-sighted and some of them are very short-sighted. But we have goals. But we forget sometimes that we need to celebrate each step that we take, especially during this time. That every step that we take that's positive, we should learn how to celebrate it. Because if we cannot celebrate the small things and be encouraged by them, what is it going to look like when we have to celebrate the large one? And lastly, I want, you to let, I want to let you know that it's okay to ask for help during this time. In the scripture, it calls us to bear each other's burdens. God knew that we would need help. People sought out pe uh, Jesus out of desperation, wanting miracles because they knew that he could help them. Jesus sent us the Holy Spirit. In translations, it's called the helper to help us along our journey. And so often in our kind of culture, it's, it seems shameful to ask for help. It seems weak to ask for help. But God knew that we would need it. And we would need to turn to him. We would need to turn to our brothers and sisters for that. So I want you to know it's okay to ask for help. And so three things I want to leave you with as we close to encourage you during this time, whether it's this week, next week, whenever. But I want you to be reminded of this and that you should always make time for God. You should always save time for yourself. And also take time for others. 
Make time for God, save time for yourself, and take time for others. And I want to encourage you that if you need to talk to somebody, the church is here for you. Your brothers and sisters in Christ are there for you. And even if it's a therapist or somebody, a mental health professional, don't be ashamed. Go talk to somebody during this time. Take care of yourself. Slow down, even in this time of slow down. Because you matter to God, and you matter to the people who love you the most. And I want to remind you, if you're a woman in our church, or maybe just a woman that's watching, we have a virtual retreat tonight at 7 p.m. And I want you to contact our office at sonomasprings.org. So it's office at sonomasprings.org if you want to join in absolutely free and it's virtual and they will hook you up and get you connected. So uh, just let us know if you want more info. Hope you're having a blessed day.